we have for you today is our Cincinnati 10 foot, 135 ton hydraulic press brake. It has X and R. The ramp will tilt to the control. The bed also has crowning and it has hydraulic clamping for your tool. The machine runs excellent, it's been fully serviced. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and run the machine for you. center dial gauge and we're going to show you the repeatability of the back gauge on the black face gauge. We have to, the machine's equipped with a light curtain system so we have to be careful not to break that beam while we're doing these tests so the machine will stop. And as you can see, on every cycle of the machine, the ram repeats in the exact same spot on the dial indicator which is graduated in one thousandths increment. simple to use and operate. Um, all the functions are through these soft keys, so you can control your top position, your bottom position, you can change your uh, speed of the positioning, your rapid approach, and your pressing speeds. You can also tilt the ram from here. Um, you can control almost every aspect of the functionality of this machine through this control. Again, the machine is equipped with light curtains and if you look down here you'll see a series of bars. These are the black block out areas to give yourself your material clearance. Where these are located you can insert your material. Each one of these is approximately a half of an inch thick so you can position them anywhere on the light curtain that you like to gain access and not interrupt the operation of the ram. If you see here there's a green light that means that the ram can be activated and when we break that light curtain, it will turn red above or below these blocks. The light curtains interrupt the rapid approach of the ram, but once the machine is at its mute point, which would be 250 thousandths above the material at the pinch point, then it overrides and will form your material. Now we're going to demonstrate how the hydraulic clamping on the ram works. Normally, you have to loosen these bolts, remove your tool, get your new tool, insert your tool, and then tighten the bolts manually. This machine has hydraulic clamping, so all you have to do is open the clamps, which we're doing now, as you can see, insert the tool, reclamp, and there's your tool. No more tightening and loosening of the bolts. Now, when you originally put your tooling in, you do have to set the pretension of the bolts one time. After that, you can remove and replace them at your leisure. Now, I'm going to show you how easy it is to remove the punch. And there you have it. Punch is in my hand. Saves a lot of time. The machine also has a palm control if you choose to use that operation in the machine. In addition to this, the machine's equipped with two foot pedals, one to the right and one to the left side. This concludes our presentation on the Cincinnati 10 foot 135 ton press plate.